Bao eventually began showing symptoms of psychiatric illness. She became socially withdrawn, and although she refused to socialize with her husband, she also refused to let him leave the house alone. In 1944, while Bell was running for the U.S. House of Representatives, Bao tried to commit suicide. A note was found in which Bao stated she preferred death to a public life. In 1949 she checked into the Institute of Living to be treated for her chronic insomnia and diffuse abdominal pains. Shock treatment was tried and numerous psychological tests performed. Bo's IQ was measured bright normal while others claimed she was unable to reason, had poor judgment and displayed inappropriate or even bizarre behavior. Her pains were considered delusional and she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. She experienced neither auditory nor visual hallucinations. Analysts tied the onset of the illness as well as her insomnia to the butcher knife episode back in 1922, but Bauer rejected psychological explanations and left the institute. Bao did not return to her family. After leaving the institution, Bao lived alone in a bungalow, which she rarely left, until her death. Bao spent her last years in Culver City, Los Angeles under the constant care of a nurse, living off an estate worth about $500,000 at the time of her death. She died of a heart attack on September 27, 1965 at the age of 60. An autopsy revealed that she suffered from atherosclerosis, a disease of the heart that can begin in early adolescence. Bo's heart showed scarring from an earlier undetected heart attack. She was interred in the Freedom Mausoleum, Sanctuary of Heritage at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California. Her pallbearers were Harry Richman, Richard Arlen, Jack Oke, Maxie Rosenblum, Jack Dempsey, and Buddy Rogers.